Good evening, welcome to the Brewery Field for this evening's playoff battle between Spennymoor and Altrincham. 8th versus 6th at top of the National League North. A win could see Spennymoor climb up to 6th in the division if they leapfrog. They could leapfrog Altrincham if they win by more than a two goal margin. The coldest Brewery Field I've ever experienced. I'm not sure about you, Jack, but definitely the coldest I've ever experienced. Three chains for Spennymoor in come Shane Henry, Tyler Forbes, and Stephen Brogan. And out go Jamie Chandler, Carl Magnate and Chris Mason. So, Matt Gould is goalkeeper. The back four right to left is Tyler Forbes, Nathan Buddle, James Curtis and Stephen Brogan. Two in front, two in field is Jason Kennedy and Shane Henry. Three in front of them, James Roberts, Rob Ramshaw and Ben McKenna. All behind Glenn Taylor. Just like he did there. Played just over five minutes. Nil nil. And it's cold. Wintry Tuesday nights. Long ball forward up towards Taylor. Sure to be found, but it's given. He dashes to lay it off there to Henry. Flicks it forward to Taylor again. Good touch. Gives it back to Henry. On edge of the D. Plays it out wide right to McKenna. It's out of penalty area. McKenna crosses blocks. He goes behind Spending more second corner of the game. Good quick build up after Spending more once he enters the final third. Left footed in swinger. Here it comes. Whip ball in. Headed away inside a six yard box towards the end of the penalty area. Taylor gets something on the ball. It's headed away again, but still not clear fully. Now to Henry, who lays it off wide right to Brogan. Takes a touch on the ball, forces it backwards slightly, but can get across in towards the back post. It is a good ball. Buddle's there, and he's in the back of the net! It's 1 0. I think it's James Roberts at the back post. Buddle might have got a flick on it. It was Roberts with the final touch to put it into the roof of the net. And just over oh, six and a half minutes in, Spenny will have the lead. There you go, we're talking about Stephen Brogan's delivery and how dangerous it would be. It's proved dividends there. Loads of time, I think Ultraman failed to close him down, really give him so much time to pick his spot. Taylor flicked it up, there was Roberts alive in the back post. Perfect start for Spennymoor. First real clear cut chance of the game. Good ball in for Brogan. I think Bordelmeyer just about got a flick on it. And Roberts was there just inside a six yard box to. Neilan launches it forward. It's a bit flat, and so it's intercepted by Muni on the halfway line. Henry battling to win it back, and does win it back without committing a foul on this occasion. And it's played along up towards Taylor. Oh, defensive slip up, allows Taylor in. He's just had a penalty area on the far side. Can he get his cross in? He can. Up towards the middle. Two players go for it. It's clearly by as far as oh, Bramshaw, who tried the first time effort over the crossbar. Not a bad effort out from Bob Bramshaw. The ball fell to him inside the 18 yard box, but he goes over the bar. Oh, take it. Plays it quickly, final ground towards uh, Hume. Back to goal, plays it out to the far side. That's Rumstrom cuts inside. Try a shot, he will. It takes a deflection off of a spending more man out of play. Goes wrong his first corner of the game. I think I'm right in saying that we've, this has been a more entertaining game in the open 15 minutes than it was in Tarry on Saturday. Where, where's that come from? That flurry of snow. I look down to right down a corner and I look, I look back up again and it's whatever the equivalent of throwing it down is with snow. And it's playing right in our faces and that's and I'm sure struggling to see towards the far side. Can't see it at all. In fact, corner's come into the middle. I think it's towards goal, but it's cleared away. In fact, no free kick's been given. Snowball all over my notes as well. Can't see a thing. Yeah. Not ideal, is it? And this is probably the worst condition I've ever been at for a football match. I've been, is... I've been at work. I was at Salford a couple of years ago, and you couldn't actually see the ball. Bones, who's on the ball, bringing the ball forward from defence in towards. Uh... Yeah, the team sheet is literally. <laughs> I mean, I'm really struggling to read a team sheet now. I think it was a um, bolt that went into, but he hasn't got a ball anymore. Probably missed five passes since then. Ball's on the far side. Inside it comes to uh, Hancock. Down the line from him. Brogan gets a foot in. Towards the centre circle. But Oldham have it back. Driven ball right to left. It's actually intercepted by Marne for Oldham, who takes it on himself. Good reverse pass. It's cut out well by, I think it was Buddle who got a foot in. And now, Brogan will break again. And it could be another, another two on two. Not afraid of committed players forward of Oldham. But Robert's now running at the defence. Plays it in towards Ramshaw. Ramshaw's forced slightly wide, but keeps pushing back to Roberts. But he tries shot inside the D. Will! Oh, just oh. wise. That can't even far away at all from James Roberts. It looked like it was destined to nestle in the corner. So it's taken back to Hampson inside from him. To Marn, who's popping up everywhere is Marn. Then goes down, and that's a foul from Shane Henry in a good position. 20 to, uh, 23, 20, 25 yards from goal. Henry accused of bringing his man down, and it's pretty much put well. In fact, it's left of centre. Newman looks like it's going to be Hancock. He takes it right footed. It's a good one. It's into the corner. It is a good free kick that from Josh Hancock. Um, yeah, from Josh Hancock, who gets his 13th of the season. Probably deserved on the balance of play in the last five or ten minutes or so. And 32 in the 32nd minute of the game. 33rd minute of the game. 
It is an equaliser, courtesy of their top scorer, Hancock, Josh Hancock. Roberts intercepted and given away as only far as Kennedy, who spreads the play left to right to find Forbes. Forbes bringing the ball forward. Forward towards Ramshaw. Flicks it back in the path of Forbes. Can't quite keep possession. Ramshaw then gets a foot in. Can he get a cross in? Inside the penalty and Ramshaw towards the byline. Cuts it back towards Taylor's behind Taylor. Turns and gets a shot away and it's a good defense. Oh, now it's with Ramshaw. His shot is blocked. Now falls to McKenna. Well, McKenna tries a shot. He will. Oh, it's a crossbar. What a frantic 10 seconds that was inside the. Not inside the penalty area, but inside a six yard box. A bit of attraction. Ball on his near side with Altingham. It's with Marne. Turns inside of Ramshaw. Running forward is Marne. Still running forward. Now into Old Hume. And lay off again to the Hampton. He's getting forward a lot from left back. Hampton running at four. Puts inside to Hancock. Hancock will try a shot. It's curling. Oh, my oh it's word. just wide at the front post. Follow as soon as that left his foot, Hancock, it looked like it was in, and it just, it might have mushed him, just nicked the post for how close it was. Yeah. Where it's B2, and then, oh, nearly managed to play down the line to Taylor. We're going to get a 14, but it deflects in the favour of Densmore. <coughs> Clear away for Oldham down the near side to Hume. Back into Curtis, does well, goes down. We're going to free kick as well out of that. That seems soft. Play will continue. They're trying to take it quickly, and they're going to go. Well, he's now, he's inside the penalty area. Around Gould is no oh, Gould with a really good save on it actually. That ball forward, it should be a corner. Remember, he's not signalled for anything yet, but will be a corner. That was a bizarre, quick uh, run of play that was. No ball left to right, we'll find uh, Densborn is near side. Chess it down on the bounce. Inside from him, behind the forward, I think it's Hancock he's trying to find, towards Henry. Henry's ball is James back to Curtis, but he gets away with it. Curtis launches it forward towards Roberts. Obviously, we're able to deal with that, but Kenner trying to nip in. Can't quite do so. It's like going to be a foul. Roberts then gets the ball. It's a very good player from Spenny wants to win it back. Roberts and McKenna, like a tag team there. Now to Ramshaw. Ramshaw surging forward. He's got forward ahead of him. We'll try a shot. Oh, oh. what a goal that is! Oh. From the edge of the penalty area, on the right hand side, Ramshaw with an absolute stutter there into the very top corner. What and a goal! And in the second half. Spenny Moore got the lead back. What a goal that is! Unbelievable strike from Rob Ramshaw. From absolutely nowhere, you've got to be honest. I mean, all you going to dominate the early stage of the second half. It was poor, I think, from Jake Malte. All you had to do was play the ball out. The Densmore held up for too long, nicked off the feet. And that's what we do best. That's what we've shown so far in this game. We break quickly, but he has no right to score from there. And that is an absolute peach from Rob Ramshaw. He'll enjoy watching that one, but I'm sure. Oaked in tempo again. Off the far side, it's with, uh, I think it's with the centre-back Hannigan who's surging forward. God, that's a really good turn from Hume to evade Forbes. Hume coming forward down the far side. Cuts inside of one with his pass in towards the Hancock. Plays it back towards Hume. We'll try a shot. Oh, it's tipped wide by the goalkeeper. Good save. Bounced up in front of goal. He did well to push that one behind. The one goal left in yeah. this game. It's with Ultra on his near side. 30 yards from goal. Laid back to Hancock. Hancock square to Moult. Square him again around the corner. It's a good pass into the full back. He's inside the penalty area. He goes down. It's got to be a penalty, hasn't it? It is a penalty. Curtis brought him down. It's a really good play that. It was yeah. Densmore, the right, the right back. He was inside the penalty area. You're off, you know. I think I think I think you get yellow cover, but I... of the first goal, he pulls the ball down on the spot. Will be right footed. It's a run up from just inside the penalty area. Here he comes, Hancock right footed. Good save for the keeper. Matt Gould is right side, it's cleared away. And Spenny will retain the lead. What a good penalty spot, uh, stop that was. Down to his right hand side, it was a good penalty from Hancock, but it was met by an even better save from Matt Gould. And it stays 2-1 to Spenny Moore. Ramshaw, bet the benefit for a slip there to Spenny Moore. And he can bring it forward on the far side with Forbes. Forbes, we've got Roberts ahead of him, uses him, down the far side. Roberts, just outside the penalty area. Brings it in all, it's cleared by Jones. Out for a throw, I think, rather than a corner. No, it's a corner. Dwell for, for Spennymore. Brogan now places the ball down. Curtis has made, made a deep run towards the back post. Now it's forward, it's in towards the middle. It's a penalty area. Fourth to Taylor! Oh! oh. Somehow he's not gone in. Deflects up in the air towards Taylor again. On his near side. Digs out across towards the middle. Headed by Buddle! Oh, it's in! <laughs> Spennymore have a third. It's Nathan Buddle. With his first Spennymore Town goal. 
makes it 3-1. Perhaps somewhat against the run of play, but they don't mind these last few minutes to spend anymore. Really good ball in from Taylor. Right on Puddle's head. There's the six-yard box. Powers a header into the keeper. Bottom right corner. 66 on the clock. It's spending more three. Altrincham one. Yeah, that could be. I think we, we, we settled down the past five minutes, and I mean, that goal's going to settle a lot of nerves. Altrincham obviously been doing a lot of possession, a lot of pressing, but I think Spenning have taken the chances when they've arrived tonight. Definitely a near from Buddle there his first goal for the club. Hannigan. Down the line from him. In towards Shoe. Expect the man pinned. He's going to lay it off. Shot will come in. Oh, takes a deflection. Falls to the Oh, he's in the back of the net. He just fell to Hancock. And no, he's offside. It won't count. He's offside. Well, on another day, Hancock will have a hat trick. Referee's come to consult with his lines, wouldn't he? Oh. I think it's struck a moves, man, you know. Well, perhaps this is not a certified decision. Referee going to have to work with the linesman here. Four players restarted. Sure, he's offside or not. I don't know why it's taking so long. It's like, it's like VAR. It's, I think the decision stands. I think it will be offside. He is offside. So no goal, and it stays 3-1. And then Malarkey on his near side, inside from him to Bolt, can turn on the halfway line, good ball forward as well, finds uh, well, play forward on Malt, he'll dummy it towards, oh it goes down, it's got another penalty hasn't it? It is another penalty, it was Kennedy this time, he brought his man down, it was uh, Durrell I think, yeah. and I think that's just going to be a booking, I think of the genuine attempt to get for the ball for Kennedy, didn't quite manage it, and we've got another penalty. I mean, just, just, <laughs> what's going on? What an unbelievable game of football this is. Not like the ones I've seen possibly ever, actually. Oh, he's, in, he's actually in line with the ball. <sighs> Referee blows his whistle. It's a stuttered run up. Here he comes. He takes it into the corner this time. It scores into the bottom left corner. Gould went the same way as he went last time to save it. And with six minutes left, six and a half minutes left to play, it's Spennymore three, Altrincham two. Well, the attacker defenders here with the left foot. It's a good ball in. Taken down towards Hancock who shoots, deflects him in the air, headed away, not very far. Goes to get something on it, slices it towards goal again. Oh, to the legs of an attacker, shot comes in, saved towards the edge of the penalty area, and now Robert can clear away. Oh my word, what a frantic period of play that was. Somehow the ball is cleared. We picks up once more. Thompson over the ball. Ball in green. Ball launches ball forward. Everybody forward for Altrincham. Everybody back for Spennymore. Last chance of the game. Altrincham salvage and equaliser. It's a long ball forward, left footed towards the penalty area. It's long, it's high, it's headed away towards the far side, towards Jones. It goes behind, it will be a corner. And this will be the last chance of the game. Altrincham's 12th corner of this match. Coming across is Harrow, who will take this corner. It's a goalkeeper going to go forward. He looks across to the bench. The bench say no. Everybody else is forwards. Harrow puts the ball down inside the quadrant, left footed. Here it comes, it's low, it's across towards the six-yard box, it goes behind, no it doesn't, it stays in play, it's played as far as Harrop. Harrop can't put past Roberts, but it goes behind for another corner. Roberts insists and that's a goal kick, he's careful in the protests. Not a corner from here, Roberts seemed pretty sure. And so, this three minutes seems to be the longest three additional minutes I can recall. Will be another corner, the goalkeeper looks across again. He's been told no once more, this time it's going to be uh, Jarrell I think to take this corner. Right foot of this one's going to be. Elliot Durrell scored the penalty. In it comes. It's again, it's low. It's cleared away at the near post. And that is the full time whistle. What an unbelievable game of football that was. Packed with incidents. And Spenny Moore come out of victors by three goals to two. Then we thought the first half was good. It was 1 1 at the break. But that second half was absolutely incredible. Rob Ramshaw would have stood up and entered the penalty area on 53. A missed penalty. Well, a saved penalty, I should say, from Hancock on 58. Ball made it 3-1 on 66. Oh, had a goal ruled out for offside. Was it offside? Was it not? Who did it touch? We don't really know. It was ruled out, though. They got a bat with a second penalty on 84.